Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a quick video today on kind of like a, uh, a DIY or really inexpensive way to do a cowboy bedroll. Um, basically, I'm using a tarp. I think this one is probably like an eight by 10. I've got a, a climate air mattress. I've got a top quilt and I've got a blow up pillow and that's about all you need. I do bring with me some cord. It's just in case it rains and I can set up a quick tarp shelter if I'm out. And so I'm gonna go over that today and show you how to fold yourself up in this and uh, you know, show you, show you some of the functionalities of doing something like this instead of using a tent or kind of a tarp over you. This is, this is a great way to kind of make you feel like you're really out in nature, you know? So anyhow, if you're interested in that, stick around. Okay, so first off, let me apologize for the road noise. I don't know what's going on or the road by our house is extremely busy today. But um, what I was gonna show you is real quick how to do all this stuff. Like I said, it's a real simple setup. Um, I wouldn't say it's probably lighter than anything else, but it's it's a great way to just go lay out in the stars, but able to cover yourself up um, and you know keep the moisture off you. And if it sprinkles a little bit, you're fine with this. Obviously, you know tarps aren't 100% waterproof, especially if they're laying on you, they will seep through. So just keep that in mind if you're, you know, if you're in the season of like heavy dews or heavy rains, this is probably not the best setup. However, like I said, you can set this up as a, a tarp shelter and sleep underneath that if you have to. So, okay, let me show you how to get in this thing. So I've got everything set up. I've got a, I've got, this is my, this is my climate and it's the, uh, it's an insulated one. So it's a really good winter camping mat and it's the Static Deluxe. So if you've never had one of these, they're, in my personal opinion, for the money, this is the best sleeping mattress you can buy. I've, I've tried a bunch of them. And this one is my, is my favorite for the price range that you get. This is a hammock gear, 20 degree over quilt. In other words, it doesn't have a zipper. Um, this is for my hammock camping stuff that I do a lot of, but it's, it's down and so it's easily compacted into this little setup. And you'll see when I break all this down, it, it, you can roll it all up if you wanted to, right? The last thing I have besides the tarp here is I've got a Ricky Ticky, whatever. It's just an air mattress or a pillow. So you can pick these up any kind, doesn't matter. I've got a bunch of these. This just happens to be the one I've got. Okay, so so kind of the key here is it's inflatable, so you can you can compress all this stuff down and roll this up when we get ready to put it up. And I've got the down here too. Again. You don't have to do this. You can wrap this tarp up, throw it in your backpack along with your other gear if you want to go do that stuff as well. Okay, so real quick, how do you get in this thing? Let me show you. This is a there's a trick to this um, that keeps you keeps you dry. It also helps increase your warmth of your sleeping gear. Again, I apologize for the road noise. Okay, so first thing you do with this is let's see get this out of here. Make sure your stuff is pretty clear. You wrap your feet up first. So you put, I put this at an angle, so you'll see it's, I'm not sitting square or in a rectangle. I'm sitting at, at an angle like this. Then I take one side, right? Fold that, that comes over. Basically make like an envelope in a football. You take this one, this one comes over, in, right? So what I do with this is I bring it all the way over and I'll keep all these stuck. I'll take this and I'll roll this way and tuck that underneath me. So now, I feel like a little envelope. The whole thing about this setup is if you want to, it's super, super nasty out. You can take all this, pull it down. I kind of tuck this all underneath yourself. It leaves an air pocket so you can still breathe, but it keeps you completely covered if you have a little bit of drizzle. This is fine, a little drizzle or heavy dew. But other than that, just throw the top back. Okay, you've got your, you've got your body, your gear protected, right? I'd have, to, I'd have to move this up a little bit further, but point is, is you make these little foot box, you make this foot box down here, right? Maybe this is shorter, I'll use it. There we go. Okay. Roll it. Tuck it 
Fuck it. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? I think for a super simple sleep under the stars type of setup, you can't beat this. You know, I looked at oiled canvases and all that stuff. They want $300, $400 for those things. I mean, come on, seriously? It's a bedroll, for God's sakes. Um, this is a simple way to do it, right? Here's your simple tarp. It also increases your warmth a lot, obviously, because you've got this tarpaulin around you. But here you go. I wanted to show you that real simple. Um, now, all right, so if it rains, if it does happen to rain, I bring this stuff with me right here. I throw this in my little, this is all I take, these little pouches like this. I have some tent stakes so I can stake this down. And if you, if you're not familiar with how I'm doing tarp shelters, there's a million different ways on them. And go look at YouTube. My personal favorite is a plow point because I can tie it to a tree, use three stakes and I'm done, okay? But these are called uh, 90s, I guess, innovation figure nine tent line kit. Let's see right there. And what they are, are these little lines and they've got that figure nine plastic connector dinner. So I can tie this to a grommet. I can stake that out, wrap that around there and bring it back and then use my, this little figure nine to keep my line top, right? So there you go. If you want, I can set up a real quick figure, I mean a plow point and show you what this looks like underneath that. Matter of fact, I'll do that. So hang tight and I'll set one up. Okay. All right. So just a, just a simple example of like a, a plow point. I did this one with the floor. So I basically went back instead of using the entire, like going from, uh, going from the tip all the way back down to the tip. I actually folded it back under. So you'll see right here, you'll see where it's folded under it's because I want to make a, make a floor for my mat and everything. So it doesn't get wet. The ground out here is already kind of wet from rains we've had previously. Hey, there's glue. And, uh, and so, but if you have a little floor like that, it'll keep you off the ground. Also keep you from getting, you know, uh, your gear wet, your, your, yourself wet, things like that. So uh, it's a good little simple way of doing a plow point. There's a million different tarp techniques to set up for this stuff. But if you want to take your cowboy bedroll that we, that we just did and it starts raining, you need to make a, a real quick shelter. There's your simple plow point with a floor. So basically it's got one, two, three, three, three uh, uh, tent stakes and uh, one, one guideline, which is tied to the tree right here. So there you go. All right, so give you a little closer look to it, which you'll see underneath there. There's the gear and everything. So um, yeah, it's real simple. Like I said, you know, if, uh, if you want to get into to tent shelter and stuff like that, I'm probably uh, not the best at it in the world, but there's a couple of them that I do like, and this is one of them for that for that reason I just explained. So hopefully this helps. You guys go grab you a, a simple tarp and, and a blow up mattress. And if you want to, you know, go out with your backpack on, you can act, take extra gear or you can roll it up in this. And ma matter of fact, when I, before I finish this video, I'll roll everything up and show you what it looks like wrapped together. Okay. And then we'll wrap this up. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to roll this up real quick. <clears throat> Take your mat. Kind of fold him in half. Pillow. This is my bag with uh, tent stakes, cordage. Goes right there. This is actually the stuff sack for this bag. So really it should be in here, but I'd have another bag, but this is down. So the cool thing about down is it's very compactable, just like the inflated mattresses and pillows. And then I'll just kind of fold him up. Got to put him right there in the middle. And of course, if you have camp, you know, cook gear, you can put it in here too. If you really want to go the full bed roll, uh, you know, instead of using a backpack, and putting this stuff in there and then tying your tarp on the back or something like that. If you want to do a, a real cowboy bedroll, this is how, how you do that. All right, so 
what you do with these is you fold them, you fold them in half, right? Um, and this, what this, what we're doing here, is you get all your, try to clean your tarp as best you can as you do this. Wouldn't that be perfect? Okay. Let me take this one, come back over, hold them. Yay. And then I like to fold, fold my ends. But what you're doing is you're basically making like an envelope so your stuff doesn't fall out. Just kind of like we did when we kind of rolled ourselves up in it. Okay? Then, just start rolling. Like this. Here's your bedroll. Okay? You can put some straps around that. Um, you know, to tie this down. Uh, like I said, you can fold it up, put it inside your backpack if you wanted to, carry a trash bag, throw it inside your trash bag, put it in there and your gear with your backpack. When you get to where you're going, you just pull it out, lay it down, just set it up like we should we did earlier. But that's it, man. Really simple, simple way of doing this. And uh, if you haven't done it, go try it. It's really cool. It really makes you feel really much closer to nature than you'll ever get with a tent or hammock or anything else like that. You're sleeping on the ground with the stars, you know, under the trees or out in the wherever. And it's just a really cool way to go and camp and enjoy nature. So if you've never done this, do yourself a huge favor. Go give it a shot, all right? Thanks, everybody. See you next time.